I just want to show you guys something I learned on Lightburn today. It's the trim and extend function, which I did not know existed on Lightburn. I used to use AutoCAD to do my trimming and extending and then import it back into Lightburn. All of that is completely unnecessary since Lightburn already has the trim and extend feature. It's been on Lightburn for quite a while now, but I'm surprised that I only learned it today. If you already know this feature and already know how to use it, which most of you probably do, then you can go ahead and skip this video. But if you want to learn more about it, or if you never knew about this feature before, then please bear with me here. We are usually used to the weld and boolean features uh, and tools on Lightburn where we have two shapes, in this case a square and a circle. And when we select those two shapes, and click weld, it'll weld the two shapes together. Or you can keep just the circle, or just the square or just that middle part between the circle and the square but what if we wanted to trim just this part of this square or just this part of the circle that's where the trim and extend function comes in you first select the two shapes right click and convert to path if it's not already this will enable us to edit the nodes so you click edit nodes here or you can access it from tools or edit nodes or click control back tick we will edit nodes from here okay now that we are in edit node hover over the part that we want to trim in this case this part of the square while hovering over it you can uh, hit T on your keyboard and it will trim it from all the intersections in this case it's from here and from here same thing for the circle edit node and then hover over the part you want to trim and click T. Now, what if we wanted to extend this node across all the way to the next intersection right here, which is this part of the square? You'll have to use the extend feature. Select everything, edit nodes, and then hover over the node that you want to extend and click E on your keyboard. This will create a line that is in line with the tangent handles of that node all the way to the next intersection. It's that easy. Just the for trim, edit nodes and click T and for extend, edit nodes and click E on your keyboard. Okay, I hope you guys learned something here today. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to Laser Illusions Technology. Hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bells to get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching.